So I'm standing here in front of the uh, wind turbine that 15 people set up this weekend. We uh, worked through the weekend to do three major tasks. Uh, one was building the tower, which is welded. As you can see in the video, it's, uh, it's made up of three 21 foot sections leading to a height of about 60 feet. Um, welding them together um, took a good bit of effort. We have these outer flanges holding them together. Um, uh, put it on a base of uh, concrete with a sort of hinge mechanism. The other thing that we worked on this weekend was the electronics, which I'll show you in a second. Here we have two hinges. One hinge uh, is for the tower, going up the tower, and one hinge is for the gin pole, which you can see leading out this way. The gin pole is used to help raise the tower and will stand vertically when the tower goes down. So here we have the gym pole lines leading up to the tower and the whole thing just rocks backwards. Um, the uh, base of the unit has uh, what we're calling a riser box, but <laughs> I'm sure there's a better way to term, term it. It's a bunch of angle iron and the pipe sits in the angle iron here. Uh, it leaves this space for the three phases uh, to come through and then the wire runs into the shed where we have the charge control system which I'll show you in a second. Another thing to take note of that we did this weekend is just weatherproof the wind turbine and the wind turbine um, I'm standing right beneath it it's been pretty good and it's almost completely silent so I just wanted to zoom in up 60 feet and just see that I'm right at the base of it and you just can't hear it. I mean, you can hear a little tss, 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 if you listen real carefully. Well, there it's now, it's, now it's slowing down, so it's not a good test, but. Um, we've got three levels of guy coming down to each anchor. I'll just show you this anchor real quick. Three levels of guy, we got top, middle, bottom. Going up to the turbine. And then now I'm just gonna show you the electrical uh, components of it. So basically the electrical components is a battery charging system and uh, we have a load diversion controller which will take the excess voltage and rather than overpowering the batteries, we'll bleed it off into heat. So if you come here into this shed, uh, you have four deep cycle batteries. Uh, it's a 24 volt system, so you do the math. Each is a six volt battery. Uh, we have the Load diversion control here, it bleeds it off into heat, which will eventually keep this shed warm uh, or warmer. And we have the TriStar controller. We have uh, the fuse, which will protect the equipment in case of a, of a problem. Then we have the rectifiers that we built by hand in here. I wish I could show you. And then finally we have the brake. So I can break this like that, and I'm just gonna show you what happens. Basically, we short it out and we basically essentially stop the turbine. So as you can see, it's not spinning right now. If I go back in here, put it back on, the unit will start up, and uh, when the wind gets going. So there it goes, it's gonna take a little bit to get going up. So that is basically what we did this weekend, and uh, thanks for watching.